Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday we had a blackout in the mid of the night. So um, I need to open all of them. Welcome back, everyone, once again. Sorry about that. I seems have an issue with the multi desktop. It's confusing uh, my uh, Twitch city or something. I don't know. Something is confusing it for real. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I opened the studio on desktop one, and I'm using a third party to program to make Windows have more than one desktop. I guess I know now. I know what's going on, and when I switch between the desktops. While the studio is open, it's it's good with him. It's good with it. So um, someone is saying something in the chat, but I don't see it in here. What's going on? So what graphics card is she using? Hey, okay. is that like a chat test? I guess so. Because I have no one here. Uh, Visual Studio will take some time to work. Let me check this chat thing. Uh, yesterday I added and it should remove the messages after 15 seconds. Okay. I can add this message here. But I don't see them removed. Are these real chat snippets from other streams? I don't know. Um, why the sitting saying Undertale? I thought it takes the info of the, the schedule. Yeah. Funny. Guess the schedule info doesn't show in the stream info. It just showed in the schedule info. Something like this. Going to deal with scripts. Uh, science. I don't believe that I need to do it every time while well, I have info in the sheet one. So so what 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 do we need? We need test two as well. And we need the timers as well. So, uh, did I stop recording? Yeah, I stopped recording. I... Before I got the call, I was intending to use a random music bot. And he's supposed to be in the shot or something. Uh, I have no clue how to use it yet. Uh, I don't need to load this project. I can just run it. To make a comparison between the old game and the new one. And let's open the timer. So we need... Yesterday I worked an hour after the stream. But I couldn't achieve much. I couldn't achieve much. 
I really would like to nap for an hour and a half. Are you? Um, I could try to make this thing work. I mean, it must be from YouTube. Oh, SoundCloud, okay. Sound... Cloud. Classic music. Mix. Free. Jesus, way too loud. Uh, no, I don't mean like that. Maybe classic piano. No vocal, please. about this is no classic I don't know what's going on either the classics has changed or I don't understand what the classic is, I'm just stupid. Um copy whatever so how can I copy this I, I believe I can lower the sound when I uh, copy it to the uh, to the bot I don't know what's going on. I thought this is maybe I moved the free and it's not free anymore. Let's try to get it from YouTube. It might be easier. Classic music piano uh, free royal. Just, I want to test the stupid bot. Can I do that? Submit. Waiting too long. You know what? Screw you. I wasted enough time with you. Anyway, no music for you guys. I'm sorry. Next time I'll try to figure it out before I um, do anything. So, what's going on? I wasted 10 minutes trying to build the stupid music. Because I noticed the microphone is too loud and even with the gate, noise gate, um, my breath, it captured my breath when I take a deep breath because 
I'm still not used to stream to real people. I have been streaming my code for to walls for years and uh, yeah, I got used to the walls, but uh, now in here in Twitch, real people come and see actually. And uh, so uh, I'm still not used to that. Even though I used to program on Life Code TV, but I was way too busy on my work to get nervous, I guess. In 2016. So we are stuck with implementing Jump because. Um, the cycle to reset and to set the uh, the state of the character or what I call them actions are uh, using the old way how to set them and I need to figure I, 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 I need to update I need to update the thing because it's not like the old system anymore everything is different so the cycle for the update is in here and um, gravity will add suppose it add on earth i might need to change the logic for the gravity as well so let's start the timer let's start working so let me open this. Let's read the logic in here. So if the active action contains jump or on the ground, actually if not, if doesn't contain jump and it contain on the ground, and he was on the ground but not dead, It add on the ground and it remove on the air. Why do I have the condition if not dead in both of them? Am I stupid or something? Otherwise, he's on the air, really? Now, this doesn't make sense. Mm. Actually, it has sense for one reason. To... Um, to calculate falling, but what the hell is going on here? If roof is greater or equal to zero, what is roof? Roof is equal to check wall. What's going on here? This one will check if there is a wall above the character on the Y side. If it is true, then the roof is his height. No, his uh, position. If not, then minus one. And if it is not minus one, that means it's negative, that means there's no wall. No, wait. If it is greater than zero, then if it is positive, then if this there's a wall. Ah, so if it is there a wall, then we're just um, making the character seems like if he just jumped. What? But he's in the air. Ah, this one, okay, 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 this one, while he is on the air. But why while he is on the air, is consider he's jumping all the time, it's, it's weird, it's just weird. To be honest, I feel I don't need to make these check-ins in here. These check-ins should be, um, 
as I said, I'm remaking the whole system, so I'll get out. These checkings will go to the action condition. I don't know, I need to make a lot of changes. This else for what? So this is if he's not jumping and on the ground. Here is for everything else. Really? So if he's jumping, then it remove on the ground all the time. And it add air all the time. Hmm. So apparently, this function should work after the clear because it keep adding these things for a reason, isn't it? So if we go to the test game three. I might change the whole thing as I keep saying. So this one, we will add it here. Let's take a look what will happen. Before the character kept jumping, short jumps. And now, the animation doesn't work at all. At least he kept on the ground. Because we changed graffiti, let's um, let's get this back. I just want to make a quick test and see. At least he walks, but he doesn't jump. Are you telling me is this the code is what making it jump? No. Funny, yesterday I had the stupid short jumps for some reason. Did I screw up the code completely? Anyway, this um, checks. I, I need to go around it. I need to go around it. And I might need to change the logic.
My head is not in the game, definitely. This is Map Simulator 2. This is Map Simulator 3. First of all, I should move this here. <sighs> Let's see if it checks the variable. Yeah, uh, I'm not happy with the current condition system by checking the expression every time. Why the check variable? Oh, yes, I made it into shared as I faction. So everyone that have faction can use it. So let's check the first. Condition. It doesn't fire at all. Zero. This is sad. First of all, remove all of them. Second of all, we want one here. And then one here. What is J? Oh God. What is J? Index of else, okay. So there's no else. Um, R1 has remove action and approve on chain. And there is a space in them. Well, I'm terming them anyway, but. Uh, it's kind of annoying. So these are the results if it correct. The thing is, what is the condition? The condition is... These are the results. Ah, here, 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 the expression. Contain current action on the ground. And contain current action on air and jump. Oh, this is the approval. So we didn't even approve the the jump, you say. So um, in worker jump, we are doing this condition now. So um, it's a contain action.
So uh, on the ground, and it doesn't. In other words, the graffiti is going up. The graffiti should give an action on the ground, but because graffiti is called. And then the check condition is called No, it's not. Hmm. Oh I see the issue. I see the issue. I see the issue. I see the issue. Where's the control? Graffiti should be after clear then. Why? Because we take the control. Joystick press in here. But we are using the keyboard. Ah, here. Control manager. Control manager is called. And here it check all the control. And um, inside it to check the joysticks. But... Uh, why these things are not inside the, the control manager? Maybe that's a good thing to do as a cleanup. Try to move the joystick code from the main update to the controller manager. Before we didn't, I didn't have a controller manager. I have a controller class, and the logic for the controller class is updated inside the main um, game update. Actually, I should move everything to here to hide it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That will be interesting. But uh, the thing is, after all the logic start then it need to do and so what we're going to do make two update functions one for the start and one for the end all right all right i would like to do that i would like to do that that will be lovely it will make less mess in here. I mean, look at that. I could replace it with uh, the. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Shouldn't these be for the map? This will work or not, but let's take a look. Come on. So, okay, it has on the card. So we have the same old issue, he's dancing, so uh, the update cycle is not correct, I'm just, uh, I'm just screwing things up, 
So I might need to make all kinds of changes in here. Just be right. Why the chat doesn't, uh, God, from one thing to another, why the chat thing doesn't um, disappear? To, to be honest, this is really annoying. Yesterday I got stuck as well. But I, I must find a way to solve it. There must be a way. Um, So let's try to follow the steps slowly. Gravity. It doesn't want to show me the code. Show me the code, will ya? Uh, you, when you click on one click on something, it usually open a page in here, a tab, and show you the code, but it seems it behavior changed because the tab is full or somewhere. It's just whatever. Just whatever. Just whatever. So let's see all this stupid code in the graffiti. If on the ground and not jump and currently 
on the ground, or this is a different condition, if currently on ground, add ground, else add air. Else, and uh, there, no ground. So the whole thing can be one big else, but the only difference is here in else we were doing something else, which I'm not sure what it is. It's uh, canceling the uh, jump if something immediately above you. That's why we have a repetitive uh, condition here. All of that doesn't matter. What matter is... So this one check below the character. All right. What does clear do? Clear, if I'm not mistaken, uh, just clear. I have seen this code before. Funny. No, no, no. I don't. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember five years ago. I have a similar code for testing. Exactly the same line. Wow. And someone was talking to me and asking why I'm doing this ugly kind of thing. I was like, I'm testing. Let's go to the old project and uh, let's check uh, default action. Do we, did we have a default action? I believe we did. Believe we did. Maybe only for the beholder, so it can fly. Even if it doesn't do anything. So yeah, it just stay on air after the clear. So it has an action reset request. But I cannot see the code in here because this is an action. But um, 
the funny part is I am not using this why I'm sending this if I'm not using it yes it was a different way to do it so who's calling this this is called by the map class and the reset so the reset was um hmm was um, separated from the action condition but I made it into one wonder if that's why it's not working you see it was um, Do you think because it's in a different loop it gave it a time to breathe or something? Where is the graffiti? Graffiti is way behind, behind even the control. So graffiti do a full loop. This do a full loop and this do a full loop, but this was delayed. Should I mimic that and see if it works or not? Um, yeah, let's mimic that and see if it works or not. Even though I tried to uh, make it simpler in here, I made it in one loop and maybe that's what screwed it up. So, um, let's cancel these for a second. I'm trying now to just at least see jumping works and want to do I will um, be more than happy to clean up the code a little bit so before the press is it before the control manager as well after the control manager I believe the reset is after let me remove these I don't want to deal with them Still doesn't jump correctly. Oh, one of the things is printing. I wonder what it is. Uh, the first one is clear. I want to remove it which is in the object which is here and one of them is in the approve here a 
Let's take a look on the condition. Actually, before that, get away, fucking fly. No, oh, yeah, yeah, let's look at it. So let's check move. Move is in here. Is it move or is it move C? Fucking damn fan fan it should be move C. Oh wow. Oh wow, it's move C, damn it. It might be the problem, it might be the issue because if it, I'm using only move, it won't uh, change the animation name. Oh wow, it might be the issue. Uh, because move will just ignore the last keyword jump. It doesn't care about the set. Well, definitely jump higher, but I'm not sure if that's the thing. I don't think that's the... Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I have an access to the creature. We uh, could print his attribute. So it's on the air and jump. On the air and jump. And it prove on the air and jump. In the graffiti. So what happens here? Hmm, jump is not kept because of the clear, isn't it? That's the issue. I wonder how did my old code go around this. Uh, but it's uh, clear, whenever the clear happen. You see if I... Um, wait a minute. Why gravity is here? Did I move it above the thing here? Yeah, I have two gravity. It's not the issue, the issue is the clear, definitely. Oh god. Yeah, testing every time is a sure. I need to log in and test. What happened if I completely remove the, uh, the clear? I would need a smarter clear definitely, but I want to see the code. It should by itself jump only once. Maybe graffiti doesn't uh, move the character down if we go to the old program and go to fall.
it doesn't go down. Hmm. This one, when I click right and left while he's floating, while he's in the air, but this one not. So both of them doesn't uh, deal with going down. Okay, okay. Here I have a weird code in here. What if... I was going to remove this, but I noticed they're here. And this is moves too. Doesn't this mean it moves or try to move eight on the ground? Why it didn't work? But this is when he's not jumping. Ah, oh. this is when I'm not jumping. Which yeah, it should be removed. If not, if I'm not requesting it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. That's what happens when you do major cleanup and you try to implement things quickly. I need to take it slow. I need to take it slow and see. Hey. <sighs> How the different conditions used to work and how they now work and make a new system. That's more convenient to use because I might remove gravity if I can implement it in the character itself. So instead of making uh, this thing affect everything I uh, could um, make the character responsible in that in other words this is wrong Because this if this is a combination of the two jumps before to go around a lot of issues in the control, I add a jump initial and jump. Hmm That's it. That's a problem. He's not on the ground anymore. So he doesn't do the action condition anymore. That's a problem. Unless if the action condition of the new one should be on the air. Is it on the air? Yeah, it is on air. So, the way how I'm making the conditions uh, is crappy, because here I'm saying only if I am on the ground or on the air and jumping, but the problem is on the reset, it will remove it. But how the old code work? Because <laughs> let's go to 
the hard code. How did I program this? And take a look. How did I program jump? Let's check the state. First of all, this is the action condition. No, this is the request, sorry. So if the CD is zero, which I'm not sure what CD is, which... And the state is not drop, that's the keyword, that's the trick. This is what's make it works. So we need to check the state if it is not drop. And I don't know what's this. So, um, the second that he start dropping, float, it's state become drop, and that's why I can tell that's drop, sidekick. Okay, 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 okay. Do I have drop? Yes, I have drop. So we need to add the drop state. So there is uh, no jumping without floating, in other words. Um, one of my goals, I'm trying to make making uh, these things easier. And one of them is floating. We will try to upgrade uh, this system, or this data actually, because the code won't change, the script will change. We will try to make the script works in our favor to uh, replace these four things, these four conditions, these four action conditions, and make them into one, which is jump. And so later on, I will try to make this thing work with moving as well. So let's see if we can do that. that, that that's one of the major things that I'm trying to do by replacing the system, by making it better. So here, we will add one float and hope So the float just on air. So, somehow we need to get it in the condition. When I press jump, if it contains on the ground, or contains on the air and jump, Are you telling me I should say if If I check the drop height is greater than zero and the state is not drop to approve jump I 
I will have to check where do I reset jump to zero. Here. So when he's idle or walk or roll, it's set to zero. If he is jumping in any kind of jumps and there's a wall, it's set at zero. But what? Hmm. Why the gravity check if it's minus eight as well? Like we, we have two guys that check the uh, on the wall. Weird. Weird. What's this? This is sus too. Why I can't see the gravity? Why I can't see the gravity? Why I can't see the gravity? Oh, they're here. This one... Check the roof to prevent stocking in roofs. Okay. So it seems we have some weird animation, not smooth when we don't have this code. And I just removed it. Hopefully with the newer system, I won't need to do this. This one is incrementing the jump with six. Huh. Incrementing it with six. Okay. Let's go to the new code. Oh, let's just, just do it in here. In here, I'm commenting it with one. This is complicated. The, uh, I have reset which clear everything. It shouldn't be that complicated. I mean, seriously, how many platforms are there that support jumping? Why gravity doesn't support uh, a gravity gravity where is a gravity? So this is this two I don't see anything on freaking gravity that's setting something like going downward but this one this one should Uh 
Oof. Isn't this one moving the character downward all the time because moving is true? I believe this thing moving the character downward all the time. If he is not jumping. So, um... And of course I deleted the, the, uh, the code, I mean of course I did. So let's move him, force him to move. Let's see if this one move him first. So this thing move him. I see. And even though he, it moves all the time. Okay, 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 okay. Let's move him 800. I don't have reset. So this is the graffiti talking. So graffiti is moving the character, which makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. But the funny part is. Is it now? I believe this is fixed. It's um, not like... Uh, it's not cumulative. Um, mm -hmm. Well, because I'm not using jumping, if the jump keyboard stick, it, the graffiti will stop working. Yeah, the graffiti just work way too fast. So when I go, uh, when I have the code happen twice in here, or let's make it 160. I'm not sure why I couldn't jump higher when it was 80.
So yeah, yeah, the, the gravity just was moving way too fast to uh, make it impossible. So yeah, 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 we need to change the logic. And uh, it's not as smooth as I wanted. Too many conditions, too many crap, and I am not happy with it. Let's print at least the state. This is a shore. Huh. The state doesn't register at all. Okay, that's an issue. I'm not registering the state at all, even though I'm not using it yet. So, I believe the action condition here and hard coded it said the state. Yeah, that's the issue. That's one of the issues. I'm not using uh, this crap. Am I? Apparently not. I have a whole system just for the show, I guess. Huh. Anyway, we will try to use it. <sighs> we have a new class called Action Request. We could do it in here, actually. Even idols counted. Oh god, whatever. Yeah, even idol. Actually, I could replace this with uh, this, but now I need to do this.
query. What now? Did I press down? My mistake. Uh, down request is there, but I didn't program it yet. Yeah. Now we have at least one state result, or one result state. And now we're trying to use it. Whenever I'm in the air, it should be dropped. Unless if I'm jumping, that's the trick. So, um, what I'm going to do after the break, and after maybe killing this fly by spreading flight everywhere, I'm going to do a new conditions for uh, when I press jump, and this is like action condition. A new press, a new uh, action approval. Well, let's put it down. Let's put it down. If Uh, result state is not drop. I believe it's in small. Is it small? Oh, yeah, it's small. And check height is greater. is smaller than 200 then remove on the ground and approve jump The new action condition might not change. So what's going to happen now? When I don't press jump, he will become on the air, hopefully. And when he is on the air, he will be considered drop. And when he consider dropped, I cannot request jump again because it will fail in here, hopefully. So uh, next step, I will print the actions. Let me do that before I take a break.
why I need to print the line after all of that too. Oh, it will look ugly like this. space before action and okay 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 frick me hmm now this is dangerous There's no drop at all. Well, I didn't move the new uh, things. Uh, it's dangerous because it doesn't keep the output when I pose, damn it. I kind of hate that. I wish if there's a way to keep the last run output. I mean, come on. I want to see what's going on. Maybe if I view it in here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is dangerous, and I believe the reason this is happening is because of this. But the gravity works every time. Well, the test is before gravity. Mm. Where is this stupid graffiti? I don't see it. Here. So let's bring this after graffiti. Half of them empty. Think about it. He must have either on the ground or on the air all the time. My gravity is fucked up. This is fucked up.
I might change this into uh, What if I remove this part? And I remove this part. I'm just testing. I know you won't jump correctly, but uh, I don't care about jumping correctly now. I'm, c I'm not happy with this. No, I, I really love it when he stopped out scrolling. Not sure why it's empty half of the time. See, now it has on the ground. Now it's not. Like, hey. Hey. Okay, one more fucking test. I, I believe, I believe because the reset is not, uh, it's not, it's removing everything, but it's remove everything. Why this thing is, hmm. this game this is tiresome this is really tiresome <sighs> this is a reset and it happens every time if I make it happen every to do the Every two ticks one time. What happen if I'm going to remove this sucker and put it here? Will it happen? Will it be always empty? Yep, so it was empty. So the gravity code is fucked up. It should always add a gravity. Or it was working when it was working for that system. Now we need to make it work in a better way. So if it is on the ground, it should add on the ground and remove in here. Where is the, uh, the diagnostics happens? Here. So for some reason, even though the action conditions work, action reset works, after the gravity, if I can locate it, oh god, wait. Fucking me. Fucking me. It seems um asleep or something. 
So the problem was in the system printing. It works fine. Fucking me. I'm sorry, I'm doing very shameful display today. Um, I wanted to sleep, to be honest, and have a good nap before start working, but what to do with the clock and things happen. Anyway, I will take a walk. I wish I can take a nap. Use the bathroom, drink something, and come back. Be right back. <laughs>
Let's see if the four minute nap gave me any good or if it was any good or So back to the shameless display. Let's remove this once again. So let's program this. So instead of making two functions to check if the state is equal or the state is not equal, let's use the if not instead. If I may remade my interpreter, and actually I got some ideas now how to implement uh, the interpreter to identify the objects in easier way. I, I could make it um, similar to the system of actions, but to define the objects of the game engine to the interpreters. Unfortunately, it's a huge project. It's much more complicated than this if I want to remake everything. And uh, maybe after I make three or four successful games on this engine, I will try to do that. But for now, let's make another condition to check one state. Actually, no. So, we will use this function, oh come on. So, if not, check state. Drop and check attribute value height is less than 200. Then remove action on ground and approve on air and jump. Okay, so this is the old one. Let's um copy it first because I don't trust myself and neither I trust if I am watching the um, so this is the code and this is the new one Okay, 
so If this success I could make jump and float do a sub request for moving we will look at that soon or it's the opposite the moving do a sub request when it's jump yeah yeah we will take a look. What the hell is that? The good news is, jump doesn't get cancelled. The bad news is, what did I miss? Where is jump? It should be jump and on the air. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can I do a double jump? Like jump, drop, and jump. It shouldn't. No, it he can't. So my condition sucks. Where am I? Here? Here. Oh. Oh. Hmm. We should have set it zero immediately, even if we would set it zero immediately. And I didn't increment by six. Oh fucking a. Mm, still can double jump. If height is greater than 200, remove jump and attribute set to zero. Else, move minus 12 and no I. Make the animation called jump. Increase the jump height. I need to check the jump height value. In the control request, if the state is not drop and the jump less than 200, then approve jump. So we might need to check the state here. Number one. Maybe I can print it. And number two, we need to check on the ground value. This is 
this guy I want to test my patience. Fuck you. That's gonna be a face. I remembered I made some kind of um, this to get into the tribute directly. Uh, is it in the creature? I don't remember. But either case, let's test it. And let's. Um, That's that's the status a lot now. Fuck I fucking hate you. Oh I fucking hate you. Can I compile now? Can I test the damn thing now? Come on. Mm, the jump height doesn't current at all. Testing my pages till the end of the Asians. It's not cold at all, like it doesn't exist, like it's fucking burning. Okay, maybe it's the if condition issue. It might be an if condition issue. I didn't make the result printed in the correct way. Where is the condition? It's in the share condition. And where is the share condition? I'm already in it. Fucking idiot. I'm I'm losing my patient in a rapid way. Where is increment? This is a thing. It's not in a creature. It's a faction thing. So it is in a shared condition. I might screw it up with the result uh, initializer. So here, uh, it have the results and it has only two results in here in GS, which are 
Okay, move action and up level. And here, check the height. Actually, I want to test this as well. So the check high 200 seems working. Then it moves, was correct, but two cold moves. This is the first result. Which is in the else, that's mean in the action condition. This is here. So we are here. Next should be in the jump six, but here we didn't register jump six, did we? No, we did. Okay. It didn't do the second one. It didn't do it. It didn't do it. Is it because it can't find it? Hmm. Ooh, we can go to test three. This is an old error last year. <sighs> Continue. Creature. Wait, 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 wait. Oh man. I see what's going on. Because the first condition was asking for creature, even though the creature is I faction. Okay, 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 easy, 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 easy. We go to the initializer and we de add the I faction results to here. So here, uh, creature faction and the share function. Didn't I check this already? Mm. 
Is it in the share function? Nope, we don't have it. So what we're going to do? We going to add it. Symbol. So creature is a faction. Let's put it above or below. 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 I don't know if I should put it above or below. Oh, actually, it is this. Today, I cannot type, I can't think, can't consider. So, what do we need here? We need to. Uh, Script the creature and the faction. Right now, it should de detect the faction. Okay, now it should detect it. Yep. I, I, I should remove and see the print. So here we should, uh, when we reach 200 or higher, the, the problem is even after reset, he doesn't st stop. And actually the jump height is still 140 so I don't know what's going on here so here when he it hit for more than uh, 200 it gets zero but it still have jump maybe I should set the state into drop because uh, Give me a second. Uh, I'm 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 thinking not to set the height zero inside the condition of jump itself. Only when it hit the floor, it set the jump zero. Maybe that's the the the, the, the better way. Depends on if I want to make a double jump later on or not. But I believe if I set the state here into drop, even though I just made it to set the state by the default state all the time, Maybe it will continue. Yeah, yeah, it should continue. So let's make a code to set the state.
Nope. I'm going to change something in the map uh, simulator to make testing this easier because it's giving me a grief. Make a bottom to save and hmm. and send GIF <sighs> The thing is, I don't think the profiles are... Uh, the, the bath is loaded until your um, you click OK or something, but let me check. Actually, what I'm going to do, and instead of doing this stupid thing, juggling between the timber file and the core file, because uh, when you do the changes and you don't save, it doesn't save on the core file, so there's two files at a time. What we're going to do and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, thank you for following, uh, Charlie. I didn't know I have viewers. Uh, this is confusing me. I'm new to Twitch, and usually on YouTube, when I watch myself to testing the, the quality or whatever, I consider one the view number is one. But in here, I don't know. There's always one. So maybe it's not updated. Maybe you followed me without watching me. I was going to make a click here. I'm going to add a feature to the menu here. To uh, let me put it in the menu. I don't want to put it randomly in the code. So we need to go back to the main menu. Important. Uh, I know, I know. Give me a second. Game tag save. Game file. Game sorry. Missing data. Missing data. Okay, click. Okay. So here. What we're going to do. We need to check if the bath exists. And the bath is... I forgot where did I put the uh, the guy who load the bath and check it. Um, 
But if it is not in here, it is in the uh, here. Oops. Yep, this is the one. So script folder bath is the text, right? All right, okay. So in here, create game f is equal to nothing than the term. Maybe I'll just output a message as well that the file doesn't exist. I'll make a message box say, hey, you're right. I replace it. If not, we want to, to save the game car file, but in that path instead of the usual path. So here, This one make a backup. This is not the save. So this is the save. And instead of using this path, we are going to use this path. And we need to say game core Tim game core. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Um I wish if I can play a sound quickly. Do you think the old symbols for in the basic language, when you print them, it generates sounds? Let me see, like just the speaker sound. I used to love to use them in my old programs. Uh, C sharp. Is there a way to print sound? How to play sound C sharp? I mean, I mean, the, 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 the. no, 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 no. There is a way to print the sound, you know. Well, I could try this. Yeah, yeah, let's try this. Uh, I might need to use some kind of library. No? Okay. Let's give it a try. Nothing. Um, now, how can we test this? Let's see if the sit state hub works. Let, let's test it by changing this into 8 and replace. Oh. 
I believe it's working. I mean, but 36 can be. You can get it by. Nope, it didn't work. It didn't work. So I must load the game at least once before I can use this feature. Fair enough. So now I should be able to use the feature. Oh, give me a break. Do I Did I cancel the bath when I entered here? No, nothing is easy in this life. There's all of, no, the bath is here. Then why did it lie? Why did it lie to me? What? Oh, I'm fucking idiot. I'm fucking idiot. Did it work? Yeah, it seems it worked. Hopefully. But the problem... No, it is in this desktop folder. Okay. This didn't work. So, now I don't need to go... Exit the editor. Go to script. Go to the campaign... Uh, Sitting, replace, close the campaign, sitting, and return editing. All of this is just, eh, I need to change, do this, and I need to change the code for replace the, the play, the music. But let me test it first. Did I get it in the right position? I need to restart this. Alright, so the jump got updated so I don't need to do all that fiasco just to test again and uh, let's take a look why the, the state uh, where am I looking at why is the state is not set to drop set state so let's go here why this thing didn't work No, it did work. Job. Okay. When it hit hundred, two hundred. Uh, the state still move. Because it got replaced by the current action. Maybe. I mean here... Why the state is printed twice? This is our first question.
two guys are printing the state, aren't they? Yeah, one of them with the C and one of them with not. So, who's printing the state? It will take forever to find it. Darn it. Really now? Oh, don't give me a fucking good for nothing. Figured. But sometimes I'll put the space. Here. So this one, checking the state. So let's remove it. Maybe I need to start over. Didn't go to drop. Hmm. It didn't even get rid of jump, it immediately took jump again. Don't we reset them after we... Um, the thing is, because it didn't move to drop. Let me see. Let me see. So we see that it set the state when it hit 200. It set it to move. Fuck me. What? What? Calm down. Go to the creature class. What? Oh, it's before it set it. Silly you. Sully fucking you. So I set it at drop. But immediately after I set it to drop, it still have jump on the air. Okay, 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 let's do something else. What if I try to do double jump? Yep, he can do double jump. That this is stupid. Hmm. Let me check something else. Does the float give a drop state? Yep, it's a drop state. Okay, let me check a third thing. 
When I am in the air, do I lose jump? Yeah, I do. I do. So here, I lost jump. And my status drop, and yet I can do double jump. Just because. So, um, the condition is not correct in the request here. This is not working. If he is not dropping, and if he is less than 200, jump height. Then remove on the ground and accept on air and jump. This did not work for some reason. Let me check the check state. I don't. Oh. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh. What do. Oh, 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 This code is a little bit weird in the condition. I should put a column between them. So if we have. One state in here, it should be here. It's one of the weirdest ever code I ever done, but uh, yeah. Yep. But it never, yeah, now it can't jump at all. Only one job, and that's it. Like what? Talk about fucked up. Yeah, it doesn't accept the request of jump anymore. Only once. Be is it because the height is 200? Yeah, the height is not resetted correctly. Yeah, I'm, uh, the, the condition system is new. I'm not familiar with it to 100%. And it's not standard. I might need to change that. So at least he stopped after he reached 200. So um, his jump is a little bit too high. So let's make it 170. But this is not the issue. The issue is he doesn't reset when he reached the ground. So, um... Hmm. So this is not working. Yeah, let, let's let, let's try to make that work. Let's try to make that work. It is a faction. I need to go here and here. Is it because the numbers? Is it because... Yeah, it's not fired. Not fired. So maybe the spelling. So I'm using here a trivia set. 
and I'm using here it is the same word so what did happen Another way to solve it is um, to make it whenever you idle it get 200 but um, no this must work this must work because uh, I need to make uh, as well a way to let me let me fix this issue then I'll test the double jump the problem is why this is not working so Remove action. When remove action works, this one works after it immediately when it gets triggered. So let's go and check the remove action. What? Oh, this is. I'm oh, sorry. When I jump, it remove action too. Fuck me. Um. Uh, when I check the state, no, it both check the state. This one check it with value. And uh, this one check the attribute value. Oh god. And both of them remove the state too. The best way is um, set state. Where is set state? I do this when it's set the state. But no, the set state, the, the stack won't call to that far. Fuck me. Oh well. It didn't set the state. It didn't set the state. So, um, this didn't work at all. This did not, didn't work at all. Uh, when it hit 200, because it's 200 exactly, um, uh, let me check. Is this one? This one is uh, 170. Oops. I changed it here, but I didn't change it there. I don't think that's the issue, but let's test it. Right. So here it reached one seventy. And 
and it didn't set to zero. Neither it removed jump, but it didn't accept jump, and that's why we don't see it here. So actually, this is the drop function doing this. So we could, we could, we could, we could remove these. Remove action jump, I remove attribute set zero because we already achieved that. But what bothers me is, actually remove the set state, is they don't fire at all. So I'm not going to remove them till I fix the fire issue. So actually somehow, we managed to achieve what we needed at the start of the stream, which is taking forever to fix this. Uh, but I'm not changing anything till I know why these didn't fire. So the condition is the check attribute f uh, value for some reason failed. So this one return false or false and it's true. So it is true. Wait, no, 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 sorry. It is false and X or false since where? 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 Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, yeah, it's false. That's why it go to move C. But no, if it is false, X or and false. Terlindy, terlindy. It's two. Is it both of them false? Because we don't have not. My head hurts now, I can't think. I can't think, but I will test it. It's, um, what I was doing, I completely forgot. It should do move minus 12 and tribute increment eight, which is what's going on. So we want to check when this one is correct. Fuck me, did it fire. didn't fire because we didn't have else here idiot no we did we have else but it didn't fire why I'm using too much conditions it's kind of hard to test them like this I have one for the approval and one for the action condition so this one is for the approval And this one for the Oh now I know what's going on. Fuck me man. This is stupid. Because this one 
When it fails, it doesn't add jump in the first place. And that's why it's not jump anymore. So the whole condition in here is useless. <laughs> so what's going on? Uh, my system is working way too well to make it easier for me. That's all these chicks are useless now. Fucking. Uh, so what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Let's be delete these. Now I need to think completely out of the old ways. What's going on is a check if there is no drop. And the attribute value is not 170. And because we didn't have the C, the colon, it didn't work perfectly before. It removed the action on the ground and approved on the jump and air. But because when he doesn't accept jump anymore and they clean it, cleaner clean it, and the graffiti will add on the air, this guy doesn't fire at all. It's not his job because we are not jumping anymore. We are floating. So the whole code in here is useless. Uh, it should be uh, this. So someone else need to um, set the uh, jump volume to 200. And um, I don't want to do it as a graffiti to do that because Because, for example, if I'm pushing a rock or rolling, maybe I don't want it to uh, to jump, to be able to jump. I um, could later on add conditions to check the not only the state, but the action condition name. But that will make it complicated, and I don't want it to be complicated. I want to keep it as simple as possible. So who would set the um, jump is the question. So attribute set, let's copy the code. So someone need to do this. For testing purposes, let's make the idle do that. So I can go and fucking take a break. That that was a weird um, problem to face. Oh, come on. Come on. Because the thing didn't get initialized. Or is that the problem? the problem here the tags are two i is one and tags is two and the actives hmm. you're telling me you didn't find such a tribute I didn't add faction um, code 
into the action condition. So uh, Oh, it did invoke it. Fuck you. It doesn't increase at all. What did I do? Ugh. This is not a condition anymore, it's normal law. Normal law. Finally. It doesn't move while jumping. But the funny part is it move in the air for some reason and this is not correct it only will be correct if i implemented floating in the correct way so it works not perfectly but uh yeah yeah i need to uh, slowly try to make it workable I check what the heck is going. It's it's a little bit confusing now because uh, I have different states than the old project. Definitely. Anyway, I'm taking a break and be right back.
Man, I don't three. I don't three hours of work. Can I just go? No, I wish if I can lay down forever. Uh, I should lay down instead of walking, but oh well. Um, so I'm going to take a longer break. I keep talking. Um, one thing I don't understand is why when he float and I press right, move right a little bit. Let's take a look. Figured. He accept walk. Um, so let's go to the approval. Shake walk. So the only condition is, if there's no wall, then he walks. Hmm, and that's... That's not a problem, per se. Per se. The problem is I don't have on air and walk. Then why did it move?
So, let me start the timer. He should not move. Something went wrong. I believe, I believe I can do this. So let's take a look. You pose way too slow. So he moved by two while he's on air. In other words, there might be a state where he accept a new action request if that's true then the jumping will be 14 so we add the jumps 8 by 8 if there is a check that do the action condition twice before the prince then we will have 0 16 and 32 but no we have 888 here we move 2 by 2 while he's on the air for so in this case he's moving outside this like really let me take a look so now i should have it add by 4 when he moved a little bit Yep, someone else is moving him. Is it the request? Nope. It is the check wall. It's the fucking check wall. So what we're going to do. Check wall as script. This is small c. We need the condition.
Oh, it immediately changed the code. Interesting. Now we cannot move and jump. It will uh, just like before. It gets stuck in the animation. This is wrong. Hmm. Because the word has been accepted, but there is no uh, move and jump. Interesting. So what's going on here? It approved the word walk. But it doesn't have a condition here. I hate you, auto printer. It doesn't follow the text anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's become on air, jump, and walk. So it accept on air and it accept jump, but walk, it doesn't have a state for it. So it doesn't become idle, even though there is no action for all of these. So what should we do? I'm trying to prevent the animation to be played as the lost animation if the action condition fails. So if the action condition fails, we can go there and set it as idle. Where can we check if the action conditions fail is in the action condition request. Where is the action condition request is screw me. Uh, first of all, is this is the right project? This is the right project. This is the action condition. Um, so here, oh frick. It's in the system, it's in the system. Don't, don't panic. Here, it's in the class system. So this is the action request. And here, This is the tag initialize. Here, here, here. So here, this is else sit C animation idle. Actually, I could do even better, but by setting the animation from the class, pray. And uh, I didn't restart that thing, did I? Oh yeah, when I try to do an action condition that the character doesn't have, it become idle. Perfect. Perfect. Actually, I'll register this as a task. So we made this, and we made check attribute string, and we made check creature current action as conditions, and we implement a silly jump just to the top, and we ordered the uh, the functions, the reset, and everything. So all of these done. Uh, falling, it's implemented, but uh, we need more tests. When the action condition doesn't exist, set the character animation to idle. And we just done this. Easy peasy. Falling.
works, but the problem is we don't want it only to fall. Uh, let, let's say it's. We didn't add a background to the game, do we? We can do that. Let's add a background. So we don't get blind every time. I didn't load the map correctly or something. Here. So, um, do we have images in the first place? Yeah, we have this. We can add this, but this is, I don't want to add this. Do you want to add this? I can add this. I can add another one. So let's go to uh, the old image. Shut up, freaking good for nothing cell phone. God. We can add this, but that won't look good in the game. We can add this, but this won't look good in the game. I can add this, but I don't have the copyright for this in the game. So let's add this. Why the name is too long? Why the name is too long? Okay, for testing purposes. Uh, I didn't add a feature to move the maps. Um, how do I add a background? I forget how. Dynamic backgrounds, background setting. It's a background, not the boast ground. And there you go. Save. Replace a GF, replace a campaign. And we need to move the maps manually, unfortunately. So, um, here, this is the desktop project, and I will make a feature to replace them manually next time. Campaign, test free. Crash because we forgot to add the map in here. Uh, I should add it to the shared project content. I don't know if um, I add them here if you understand if it's dynamic or not. Um, in the older mono game, it doesn't show the folders in here. So uh, Maybe they update the uh, pipeline and hopefully, hopefully, I pray to God, it crashed less. Hopefully. Because that sucker sometimes it show files in here, infinite files that the dot and double dot, uh, the directory, it, it just screw with itself. I don't know what's going on, but no, this is the resources. Content. Actually, I'm talking about screwing itself. I have a problem with my uh, editor as well. The older images, it's a crash if I don't delete them. And if they stay, they stay like an extra. So, speaking of uh, freaking uh, faulty tools, I'm not the one who talks. It just. My tools are not perfect either. Thank you. Ta -da. Even though, yeah, the stills are not transparent. Actually, the first artist I hired, he made this. No, second artist that I had. Oh, second, third, third, third artist I hired, he made the stills and the character in here. And he didn't make them transparent. And I'm still using them. I paid tons of money for these images. 
and I will be shamelessly using them forever because I own the right, I believe. After all, I paid for them. I overpaid for them. What were we doing? Yes, I was adding a background. So now, I'm not going to jump and implement bags. I'm going to make floating and jumping support floating queue and jumping queue. Is that even possible? It might not be possible uh, in the way I'm doing it. I might need to add jump of two and float two. What I'm talking about in the older system. In the older action condition system, I did have to have jump initialize and jump continuous. So one of them have the uh, the action states as on the ground and jump, and then it carry on here on air and jump. But because here I'm split, first of all, uh, this use hard coded. Um, a huge chunk of hard coded crap in here to set stuff but I'm replacing all of the stuff with scripts so to do that I need to have conditions and the last week I've been working on making all scripts support condition in a way by using one set of condition functions and so far I proved it could work so uh, let's go back to the editors. So, but the problem in all system is because anything that work, it must have a set of state. I'm trying to make this the, 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 the work on the system as easy as possible. And just an hour ago, I proved that I reached to that when I successfully made the request to get rid of uh, a lot of work uh, so in here and instead of using two different state for jumping I made this function to remove on the ground and approve on the air when you start jumping and the only way to jump is if your state is not drop and when you're falling you're dropping so a little bit complicated but it proved it work because we uh, could jump and set the uh, the uh, tribute high to zero the only problem is, is you must be an idol so you can jump again we need to find a different way to do it either to make walking as well um, set the height to zero, the jump height to zero, so you can jump while you're walking and the first second you drop on the floor, you're still walking, and then you can jump again. But uh, we will see about that. The, the thing is, now we want it to move right and left while you're jumping. Is it possible without adding jump walk? That's the question. The, the easiest way just to add a second state and call it jump walk and float walk. This is the easiest way to do it. So, um, but, 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 I'm asking the question, can I not add jump walk action condition and make it work? Apparently not, because for one reason, we need to walk action. That's the only problem. So what we're going to do, we're going to add walk here, and we will call it jump walk, or jump two.
and in float we will add walk again and call it float 2 and in here we will take this condition and add it into yeah when I have um, all my system set up I will make a new file to the action con to to the action condition I was going to say to the micro builder so I can build my script instead of editing them in here so this is if check sign and this is the jump code and we want to another one as well for the float so uh, in here we need this one and in this one we uh, move him minus 12 here actually i could i could i could make him jump higher if you don't move so we can make this one 10 and this one let's make this one as well 10 and this one we will make it 12 so in jump 2 we will do this and in jump 1 jump 1 we're going to do this and in float 2 I believe float 2 we will do it same but once again we will make float um, we will make float uh, equal to 2 and wo normal walking is 2.5 2.5 and in jump 2 let's make it 2.5 and 2.5 and replace pray that it will work So let's test walking first. Jump, jump and move, and it crash. Apparently, um, attribute ink jump height didn't accept it. I need to cut something. There is a space. Yep, there is a space. And a float too. Does it have a space too? Replace. My mistake. My script was faulty all right what just happened oh as i said as i said if you jump while you stand still it's fine when you jump and move it's not fine because it doesn't reset so uh, and i got stuck to the wall So a quick fix to this is to set the jump height into zero when I'm walking. But I'm not happy with that because it do it every time you walk. I'm trying to make it conser conservative. But that will solve the problem. Nope. Nope. And 
let's um, return roof to here. It took me forever to fix these. Something is a mess. Yeah, it seems when I return the stupid code, it doesn't stuck anymore. So yeah, it took me forever to make it as smooth as possible, but it's still fucking clunky. And it's still the... Uh, I cannot jump anymore for some reason when I keep walking. When I keep requesting jump, it's fine, but when I keep requesting jump while walking without stop, Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> oh, I didn't pause. I had cash. Oh, I tried to roll. Roll doesn't exist yet. Why this doesn't work? When I keep hitting walk. It is on the ground and walk. But I request jump as well. Trivia said jump high zero. That didn't work or what? It, it, this might didn't work. I don't know. And I'm getting tired. I'm getting really freaking tired. By the way, float two should be float two should be drop, and this should be move. Okay. I mean, the first one was clunky as well. The the the, the first one. This is like the third attempt to make a test game. Uh, the older one is clunky as hell. But it doesn't mean that I shouldn't try to f uh, make it smoother. I'm not sure if the issue with the hard code or with the script order in here. And that's what bothers me the most. The <sighs> game is not that easy, damn it. As I said, jump height. Uh, equal to zero. I I don't like I I I I I I I I I don't like how did I code this. I mean, he is on the fucking ground. Why it's not resetted? He should be the second he is on the ground. It should be reset. So something fucked up. Something fucked up. He's on the ground, he's walk, then he is walk too. I will walk to walk. It's this one. Why this did not fire? So in idle, it works. So 
so let's go let's take um, the code of idle and in walk and let me run the game keep walking and jump once oh, of course I want to see the code in here so let's say start but I will jump only once yeah it didn't reset and now I'm stuck again I don't know why he stuck to the walls this drives me nuts um Give me a second. That's why. I should check the wall here as well. Yeah, if I want it to be uh, uh, better checks. I should check the wall in here. Anyway, 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 where are we? Where are we? What was the issue? Yes, uh, this set it doesn't set the uh, the target zero after the check happens. One way to make it uh, sure is by dragging this back but I don't want to not yet let me replace and let's this again because I got stuck to the wall only when I turned around it no wait now I can do it. Okay. Wait, it's working now for some reason. It's still clunky because he tried to jump when he's in the wall. So sometimes he's stuck in a wall like this. So that's the only issue we have. But other than that, Seems fine. Yeah, I wish if I can. Maybe, 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 maybe. If we checked, like, uh, to the wall by three, but move them only by two and a half every time. Yeah, in my old work, I cannot check this fast. I need to adjust the, the, the hard code and the code is everywhere and a lot of issues. Come on, get stuck to the wall. Get stuck to the wall. Actually, he did, but he refused to move to the right. So, actually, actually, it worked. But I got stuck to the wall just recently to the green one. No. Yep. It worked. I got stuck. Why? I don't know. Ah, I get stuck vertically. What? Yeah, I got stuck vertically. So there is a chance to get stuck vertically. In it. Yeah, see? So I'm still kind of stuck, but it's, um, hmm. Completely suck. Hmm. Yeah, but it's much better than before, but still sucks. I mean, 
I got stuck like seven times in the same second now. So the normal walking, nope. You talked way too fast. Maybe I need to make some kind of uh, calculation based on the cactus side and and the wall. I mean, this should be enough. Mm, one pixel should be enough. Guess increasing the number between the check and moving make it easier to not stuck. But I will try to make him stuck in wall. Oh yeah, yeah, I did once. And doing it once is bad enough. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure um, how to fix that. This is some kind of um, abolishing state to figure out the right numbers. Um, and it sucks. It really sucks. Um, I, I must make a way to make the map itself to push the character back or something? I don't know. Uh, I must find out a way why he's stuck. Is it because of vertically or horizontally? And try to figure out how to solve it. But so far, I'm ha really happy with the jump and the float. So I'm going to put it down here. Uh, next step, we will try to work on objects, bags, Either objects and switches behavior or the bags and items or even the layers, the character layers to have hands and weapons to hold but this is kind of like after everything. This is like the, the last step. So yeah, yeah, um, I'm having enough of work for today. I feel really tired. Uh, the pre the the, the pre time will happen in a few minutes. I'm not going to rant forever. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.